It is rich in resources, it's got Africa's biggest population, and it's enjoyed democracy since 19... According to Reporters Without Borders, the Press Freedom Index of Nigeria relies on 129 in 2022. The federal government has rejected the annual World Press Freedom Index that characterized Nigeria as a country not conducive to the practice of journalism, saying Nigerian press remains among the most vibrant and freest in the world. Nigeria is one of West Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists, who are often watched, attacked, arbitrarily arrested and even killed. There are almost 24 journalists killed in Nigeria since 1992 according to CPJ, Committee to Protect Journalists. These are the journalists who sacrificed their life into the path of the truth. Baguda Kaltho, worked in the news, died on March 1, 1996 in Nigeria. Chinadu Aforo, worked in The Guardian, died on May 1, 1996 in Nigeria. Bolade Fasasi, worked in National Association of Women Journalists, died on March 31, 1999 in Nigeria. Fidelis Ikweba, The Details, died on April 18, 1999 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Sam Nympha Jan, freelancer, died on May 27, 1999 in Nigeria. Reason of death, he was assigned some kind of dangerous assignment Samson Boyi, worked in the scope, died on November 5, 1999 in Nigeria, he gave his life in a crossfire Godwin Agbroko, worked in the details, died on December 22, 2006, in Nigeria. Tunda Oladepo, worked in The Guardian, died on February 26, 1998 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Okezi Amarubin, worked in the news service, died on September 2, 1998 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Paul Aboyomi Ogundeji, worked in this day, died on August 16, 2008 in Nigeria. Ifriam Adu, worked in Nasarawa State Broadcasting Service, died on October 16, 2008 in Nigeria. Bayo Ohu, worked in The Guardian, died on September 20, 2009 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Edo Sul Ugbagwu, worked in The Nation, died on April 24, 2010 in Nigeria. Nathan S. Tabak, worked in The Lightbearer, died on April 24, 2010 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Sunday Gyeong Biweed, worked in The Lightbearer, died on April 24, 2010 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Zachariah Issa, worked in The Nigerian Television Authority, died on October 22, 2011 in Nigeria. Enenche Akagwu, worked in the channel's TV, died on April 24, 2012 in Nigeria. He was murdered. Nansak Sala, worked in the Highland FM, died on January 18, 2012 in Nigeria. Ikechuku Udendu, worked in the Anambra News, died on January 12, 2013 in Nigeria. Ikechuku Anubogu, worked in the Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, died on November 17, 2017 in Nigeria. Precious Al Labi, worked in Channels TV, died on July 22, 2019 in Nigeria. Alex Ogbu, worked in the Regent Africa Times, D.